On May 8, 1911, Captain Washington Chambers convinced the Navy to buy an aircraft from aviator and inventor Glenn H. Curtis. This day is now celebrated as the official birthday of naval aviation. Our first plane was called the Curtis Hydro Aeroplane. We designated it the A-1. It was a wooden fabric plane, very minimal. However, we decided that it would be able to fly land, sea, and air, and thus it later became known as the Triad. Chambers worked tirelessly to convince the Navy of the value of airplanes to the fleet. And since then, the Navy has gone through countless innovative technological advances. From the Triad A-1 to the F-35, naval aviation has bravely stood at the forefront of our nation's defense. For more information about naval aviation history, visit the Naval History and Heritage Command website. From the Defense Media Activity, I'm Petty Officer Tony Rosa.